guys, welcome back to another pottery video. I am John the Potter. I am so thankful you're here at the studio today. What are we doing today? We are glazing the first 25 mugs in the new studio. So if you check out the video a couple weeks ago, then we threw these first 25 mugs in the, first, in the new studio. On this sheet is the names of all the people that got the, their mug. So, starting with Jared, Jill, Vilma, Cindy. So now we're glazing them. And they, we gave them a choice of what they wanted for the glaze, but most of them said that they just wanted me to choose. Yep, mic's on. Or do an experimental one. So, which kind of puts me in a tough position because these are the first 25 mugs and I don't want to do a glaze that's not going to work out. And when, you do, when you're doing experimental glazes, oftentimes you get really bad drips or pinholes or like just, it doesn't always work out. So I have been testing this, these glazes from Mako a lot. And these are two of my favorite glazes, the Norse Blue and the Blue Surf. And this, they both have, are layered over top of sandstone. And so my idea is to do kind of four or five different combinations of those. So like this is sandstone layered on top and then Norse blue over the whole thing. And then this is same thing, but sandstone with blue surf. Hold on, I'm gonna grab one more thing. This is the Norse blue on top with sandstone. So it's half Norse blue, half sandstone with a little overlap there. And then this is same thing, but blue surf. So half blue surf on top half sandstone on bottom with a little overlap there. That's my idea. There's a few people in there that said they wanted like Northern Lights or Canyon Skies. So basically, we got this part way done already. Um, we did the Norse Blue here, sandstone underneath Norse Blue. This is half sandstone, half Norse Blue. Then this will be sandstone with BS, which stands for bull, blue surf, and then that is half sandstone, half blue surf. And then those are a couple random Northern Lights ones over there. And then we're gonna put it in the glaze kiln. We'll film the unloading as well. So this is just gonna be a whole fun long video. So shout out to the sponsor of this video, Mako Colors. So this is all Mako glazes going on here. Sandstone, Norse blue, blue surf, those are all Mako colors. And man, there's some of my favorites that they sent me, some of my favorite glazes that I've ever used before. So. If you haven't checked them out, um, if you want to buy out commercial glazes, Mako makes awesome stoneware, functional, usable glazes. So, all right, let's do it. Let's get into it. Ready for this? If you're new here, consider subscribing. All right, let's glaze. So we got all the mugs glazed. All these will turn out kind of like this. These ones will turn out like this. These ones will turn out like this. And these ones will turn out like this. So we got kind of the blue sandstone theme going on just because that's the glazes that I feel the best about. Still kind of experimenting with them. So they're all very still experimental. So these will go into the kiln. This is kind of scary. I'm kind of scared. They will get fired up to cone six, about two, uh, 2,232 degrees Fahrenheit, anywhere from a day to two days to cool down, and then we'll unload it, and then we'll be shipping them out to all you wonderful people that ordered them on the Kickstarter. I think that's it. So we will see you in a few days when this kiln is done and these come out. Here you go. Alrighty. Alrighty, friends. We are here. We are ready. 
We are ready, ready. We got our lights, we got our camera, we got our mics, we got our action. Action. Okay, so first things in here are Canyon Skies Minnesota mugs. Looks pretty nice. Really nice. Yeah, I like those a lot. I like those a lot. I haven't been doing many of my old glazes, but now I'm going back to it. I had a couple couple custom custom orders. Okay, so these two I fired for a second time. So this these had a little pinhole issue in here that I fired for the second time, and it totally cured this pinhole issue. This one had a little spot in it that was unglazed, and then it formed pinholes the second time I fired it. So that's kind of frustrating. <laughs> Maybe I'll fire it again. Maybe the third time's a charm. Ooh. Okay, and then here's a plate. That'll, that's just in that Aurora Green from Mako, and uh, I'll put a planter on there. There's a planter. Okay, so here we go. Here are some of the 25 mugs. So this is number 18. And so there were like the five kind of glazes that I did for this. Um, sorry, I'm thinking about cameras and how to film things. So a couple people had requested in the Northern Lights glaze, so number 18. And then, so here's the other Northern Lights ones. So that's number 10. Very nice, there's number eight. Here's the Canyon Skies. Here is number eight. Who that is nice looking. Ooh, that's a sweet, sweet dripper. Look at that, drip, Northern Lights dripper. That is bomb. So cool. So cool. Here's a planter that EC wanted me to make. So it has holes in it. See a hole, 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 hole. It'll hang from there, over there. Fancy drippers. Oh, man, those look good. And then this was just some part of those tumblers and then I, I accidentally carved a little too far. Can you see how it carved a little too far? Here's the Northern Lights. This is on that dark iron stoneware. See how it, can you see that? Can you see how it just drips right into the carving part? Super cool, super cool. That will hang so then there'll be some, see the holes there, hole, 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 hole. And then here's a lefty. A lefty dripper. Those drips, yes! I love drips so much. Makes me so happy. Cause I'm happy. Get excited for whatever's in here. I am. I'm excited. <laughs> Have you ever seen such a thing from JTP? Lime green, blue splatterware. Look at the inside of that. Planter again for over there. So, so far we got this limey green. We got the little other one. Oh, EC's gonna be pumped. Gonna be pumped. What? That's so cool. So this is from Mako. Combination, Aurora green uh, over green opal. Planter, super cool. Literally looks delicious. Like I just wanna like eat it. That's a weird thing to say. But that goes, remember that first plate that we took off of here? Bright green, bright blue, bright bright, bright blight something. <laughs> That's really interesting. Can't say I'm a huge fan of it. Someone will like it. It's really, it's quite different. It doesn't, it doesn't really drip at all, see that? It like, I pretty much overlapped, you know, more than two thirds, three quarters, and it didn't drip, which is so weird for my, my style glazes always pretty much are drip flowing, free flowing. Cool! Okay, so here we got, here we got a few of those mugs. So this is number 19, so this is the blue surf over top of sandstone. Number 22, number 19, and then here's number 20. Oh, this is so cool! Ah! 
All right, so here's the heart one. This is number 20. Oh my gosh. And then I'm super excited to show you this one. So, so this one is number 12 and they wanted a Harry Potter themed mug. So you ready for it? The Deathly Hollows. Isn't that cool? It's like, it's kind of exactly what I wanted. Just like a little bit. You can just see it in there, but it's like kind of hidden. Love it. I love it. Good thing I have video evidence of how I glazed all these. Okay, so here's another one. All right, last shelf. These are all mugs going out for the Kickstarter. All right, we'll finish up the blue surf. Wow, how did that one get so drippy, I wonder? Okay, so here's that blue surf. Nice, there's the sandstone and blue surf. Number 24, number seven. That one's really nice, 21. This one is really nice. I think this one goes to Jessa Tice, who I know Jessa, I see her. I shop at her grocery store. All right, we're doing good. Doing good. So a few little pinholes in this glaze, which I did adjust my bisque temperature to kind of combat that a little bit, but I do, I this glaze is freaking awesome. This is an, another one of those, number six, number something, 23. Okay, and then we got the Norse blue and the sandstone. So this is the Norse blue on top, the sandstone on the bottom. So you, you just get this little tiny bit of that sandstone on the bottom. Oh, there, there we got a little more, a little more sandstone on there. Pretty cool. This one is number 16, Norse blue sandstone. These are, so far, this is going very well. I think they're all doing pretty good. And this Norse blue, I swear, this is like coming out really well every time. So then you can see where, so I pretty much dipped the Norse blue up to right there. Remember that from the earlier in this video. Uh, and then the top is the Norse blue, straight up. Wow, okay, so this is that sandstone on top with the Norse blue on the bottom, or with the Norse blue over top the whole thing. That's really cool up there, I like it a lot. So that's number five, number two, and then some more of those. That's, that's really very cool. And then this last one, number three. It's got a little thumb holder on there too for that. That's that's probably one of my faves. Definitely, definitely a fave. Cool, well that is it for this video, guys. We got some interesting things out of the kiln. Yes, yes we did, look at all that stuff. Look at all that pretty pottery. So thanks to everyone who got one of the first 25 mugs. You saw it come out of the kiln, you saw it get glazed, you saw it get thrown. Basically you saw every part of the process. So now you just hopefully will get to see it show up at your doorstep and open it up and use it. Hopefully you love it. Um, so thanks to everyone who did that. Thanks, shout out to Mako for sponsoring this video. We are having all those Norse Blue, Blue Surf, Sandstone, those three have you been using a lot. Um, starting to use the other ones a little more too. Blue splatterware, bright green gloss, all that stuff. So thank you guys all so much for watching this video. Can't say thanks enough. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, like, comment, share all the things. We'll see you in the next video.